So we have a Xiaomi Redmi Note 7 here. And recently I showed you how to install TWRP and gain root access. Today I want to walk you through the process of making your first Nandroid backup as I feel that is very important even if you don't plan on using MIUI I feel it is always super important to create a backup as soon as you have TWRP installed on your device so let's walk through that again you're gonna need to have TWRP installed on the Xiaomi Redmi Note 7 now there are a lot of other backup applications in the Play Store. The only one I would really truly recommend is Titanium Backup and that requires root access. But as far as making a full snapshot backup of your, of your device, you're going to need TWRP. So once we have the device shut down, we're going to power up into recovery mode. And if you're unfamiliar with how to do this, then follow this step-by-step -step tutorial that I have linked in the description below. As the guide on my website will show you exactly how to do each and every one of these steps, even if you're not familiar with how to do it. So once we have booted into the TWRP main menu, naturally we just want to go ahead and tap on the backup option. And we're going to have a bunch of partitions here. And I recommend that we just go ahead and create a full backup. Just create a full backup, even if you're not going to do a full restore, which is rarely, rarely, rarely needed and sometimes can actually mess up your device I just recommend that you have a full backup of every single partition you have on your device so go ahead and go through this list and make sure all of our boxes are checked blue now another thing that I recommend you do is that you give it an actual name so to do that we tap the auto generate right there and we just back space all that information and I recommend that you describe what you're backing up so I'm just gonna go ahead and type in me UI I'm going to put a dash afterwards and I'm going to append the date even though it's the wrong year the wrong date specifically it's good to have the date appended usually so that you know whenever you have multiple backups which one is the newest which one is the oldest simply by looking at the name itself now if you wanted to we could select storage we could save this to the micro SD card or an OTG thumb drive we're just going to use the internal storage for this. Also, if you want, you can enable compression. If you do enable compression, it's going to make the backup process take a lot longer, as well as the restore process. But it will save you a lot of uh, it, it will save you some de some uh, storage space. So that is an option. And we can also add an encryption password. These are things that I usually ignore. The only thing that I sometimes do is I change the storage option, but we can actually copy the backup from our device to the PC with the USB cable after we have created it. So it just it depends on which uh, location you want this backup to be. I just like it to be done to the internal storage so it's as quick as possible. Once you have all your settings set up, you have all your part partitions checked, and you have given it a name, just swipe the white arrows to the right, and that's going to begin the backup process. Now 
Now, since the Xiaomi Redmi Note 7 does not have the latest and greatest hardware, this is going to take a few minutes to complete. Please just be patient during this process. There's multiple partitions that it's going to have to back up. We're going to have two different type of progress data points down here at the bottom as well as an overall progress bar. Now as far as these two progress data points, the top one is how far we are in the current partition that we're backing up, which we're currently backing up system. So we're 76% done backing up the system partition. And you see once this hits 100%, it's going to change to backing up a different partition. See now it's creating a system, the backup of the system image partition, which is two different things now. Then the second data point we have right here is the overall progress of the entire Nandroid backup. You can call this a TWRP backup. It's technically referred to as a Nandroid backup because we're taking a full snap snapshot of the NAND storage. And again, just be patient during this entire process. Like I said, it's going to take a few minutes to complete. Just make sure as long as it doesn't error out or one of these like the bottom percentage gets stuck on, on a certain percentage number for a long, long time. Same thing with this overall progress bar. As long as nothing, nothing like that happens, you're good to go. As you can see here, you shouldn't have anything like that. But who knows? Like, you know, there's a lot of things that you can change on your device that I have not changed on my device. So you could get a certain error at a particular point you could uh, have a part that gets stuck I mean there's a lot of stuff that goes into the Android operating system however once the backup is complete we're gonna get told how long it took it took 212 seconds we're going to have the option to go back to the backup section if we wanted to, or we can just simply do a reboot and boot us back up into the system. I just want to show you that the backup is actually there by going to restore, and there we have that backup, which as you can see has all of the partitions that we selected during the backup process. So now we're just going to do a reboot back into system which is going to take us to the MIUI or it'll take you back to a custom ROM a GSI whatever else you have installed on your device and there we have it that is how to do a Nandroid backup or a TWRP backup on the Xiaomi Redmi Note 7 which will also work on the Redmi Note 7 Pro whenever the company decides to release it in the future.